This is the pump tree battery. We have 10 cells. So basically, what I started off doing is I took an old palm tree. Right? And then I cut it into 10 separate pieces. which was very, very hard work and painful as well. And then what I decided to do is I decided to screw each cell onto this piece of board right here. And then once I screwed all 10 cells onto the board, I decided to put uh, a zinc coated nail into it, into the palm tree and a copper nail. So the zinc is my negative and the copper is my positive. So I put 10 copper nails in total and 10 zinc coated nails in total. Each of these cells are wired in series to increase the voltage. So hopefully the results are fantastic. So the maximum voltage I managed to achieve was 13.9 volts, which is a lot of voltage, right? But you can't really power anything because there's not a lot of amps. Anyway, if you want further information, continue watching the video. But if you're satisfied, you can stop here. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing. I hope to see you in another video. All right. See you in the more information if you continue. This experiment was very eye-opening. I was extremely shocked when I recorded the voltage and the voltage that was produced was so high. It shocked me. At first, I thought it was a false reading from the test meter itself. I replaced the battery and still the reading was basically the same. And I uh, took the test meter and recorded the previous battery and the previous battery was full. So which means that 13 volts that I saw that this thing was producing was correct. But there's a catch. Now basically, this is basically a made up word. Not the word itself, but what I'm using it for is basically this battery right here produces what I call phantom energy, right? So basically, it's... um. Yes, you get in that nice 13 volts of power, but as soon as you apply a load, that thing, that 13 volts hasn't existed. You take as soon as you apply the load, boom, it doesn't power that load. But as soon as you take the test meter to record the energy in this battery, that 13 volts that you saw, nothing, it's gone, it's just gone. So that's why I thought the test meter was reading wrong, but it was reading right. As you can see, there is nothing connected to 
the battery just to show you just to make sure all right now it has been setting overnight i did try charging it just to see how far i can get the energy to go but um, basically when it was reading 13 volts i i thought to myself okay if i try to use this energy basically it's not going to power anything so i tried connecting it to a battery charger and guess what happened the battery charger said the battery was full can you believe that it never even charged it it said the battery was full now let me tell you this battery charger it knows when a battery is connected it's not stupid it knows when a battery is there and it kept on saying that the battery is full so what i decided to do is i decided to use the battery repair function just to try to make things a bit smoother in the cells uh, i don't know if it worked but yeah i had to reposition all the nails just to get a little bit more power because what i also discovered is the more energy i draw from these nails the drier the liquid is surrounding the nail so every time i reposition the nail i get more power again right it's almost like accessing a new source or replacing the battery every single time all right so let's measure what the voltage is all right so basically most people will say use the lowest voltage on a test meter which is this 200 right here then we have 2 volts then we have 20 volts but here's the thing if i use a low voltage like 2 volts the test meter is not going to read this for some reason 2 volts even when this whole battery had a volt of power the test meter didn't want to read the voltage but as soon as i put it on a higher voltage it can read the voltage accurately which is weird that's the power of this tree battery all right so that's 20 volts let's see how much power this battery has now i'm sure i'm definitely thinking it dropped not 20 volts 200 volts all right let's see how much 4.5 volts that's how much power is left let me see there 4 point 4.8 4.8 volts yesterday it was reading over 5 volts see i put it on 20 volts look at this it doesn't want see nothing for some reason it just doesn't want to read the voltage see nothing oh there we are ah uh, yeah no, it's, uh, it doesn't. But let me tell you, on a normal battery, it would read the voltage just fine. This tree battery is just that special. All right, so we have about 4.8 volts, right? And I have a fan right here. Let's see if it can power it. All right, so we have the positive, right? Let's see. I'm guessing as soon as I power, try to power this fan, the volt is going to drop hard. But even if it moves just a bit, that would be a success. Okay, never even moved. Try to spin it. As you can see, it's not powered in the fan. All right, now let's record the voltage. All right. Okay, let's put it on 20 volts now. Look at that. 2.45. So the voltage did drop by a lot. See? 2.9. So look at that discovery. So the higher the voltage, the higher the voltage I have to use on the test meter, the lower vo the voltage, the lower I have to use it. So now it's reading 2 volts. So I have to use 20 volts on the test meter right if it's if if this thing is reading millivolts i have to use two volts and if it's reading less than millivolts i have to use this 200 millivolts yeah wow it's crazy all right so basically if you think it's a success it's a success basically producing 12 volts from palm trees is amazing don't you think all right so the next thing i have three beautiful lemons 
So basically, as you know, lemons are the best batteries you could ever use, right? The reason I didn't want to build a lemon battery is because everyone has done it before. And I'm not a fan of building stuff that people have done before because you could just say I copied it, right? All right, so we have our nails right there. And then we're just going to, we're going to put, no, we need, if I put one in the middle, it's not going to get, I'm going to put it right there. Oh, no, no. Let's put it right there. Pierce all the layers. All right. Now, if that was there, and then, and then we put, this side here with the zeta voltage two volts all right what voltage are we getting nothing oh four volts of Wait, is that 4 volts? No, that's 500 millivolts. That's crazy. All right, so the position determines if it's going to work or not. And right now, as you can see. Oh, okay, okay. Um, use this one. Boom. Take an orange lemon. Put it right there. Take a test meter. Right there. What are we getting? Would you look at that? It doesn't want to read the voltage. 20 volts. Nothing. 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 Man, it's hard, so hard to access power from a lemon. How can it be this hard? 12. No way. This thing should be pushing some crazy power. What am I doing wrong? Let's see. Oh, okay. Let's try 200. Oh, is that potential? Oh, okay. Here we are. That is pretty much potential. Okay, now we take our nail, right? So it's the opposite, right? And we put it right over there. Okay, what are we getting? I think I got it. I think I got it indeed. Honestly, the test meter is all, all over the place, but that is ready for testing. Next one. Two point two point eight two volts of power. 
That's not bad. Right? That's basically 3 volts of power. Okay? Now, let's see if we can power this fan. Come on, lemons. I know you have the power. Show me the power that you have. Show me the power that you have. Don't hide it from me, Mr. Lemon. Show me power. All right, that's all of them connected. Mom, and the results are in. It cannot power it. It's very sad. Disconnect that one. All right, because all these cells have been disconnected. Now we have four cells remaining. All right, we're gonna take the lemon. All right. Okay, that's that's a negative. Okay. What do we have? Give me good results. It's about four volts. Four volts. Alright, four volts, right? And by itself we were getting by itself we were getting only one volt right which means that for that voltage has to pass through all these pieces of palm tree right okay now let's see what happens if i run the lemons through the positive side not the negative right so that would be the positive wire right so we need to disconnect it from uh we just disconnect it here disconnect it there and then we connect it through the positive, right? Now the, all these lemons become the new positive, right? And then, okay, and then we test it, all right? So now, these ones are our negative and the lemons, we are receiving our positive, all right? Now, we were getting four volts before, right? Let's see if we have an improvement. We dropped in power. So instead of reading 4 volts, now we're reading 2 volts. So it looks like the palm trees are better at transferring electricity than the lemons. So when I wired it before, the lemons were transferring their power into the palm trees and I had a palm tree positive and I got 4 volts. Then I wired it so that the palm trees would send the power to the lemons and then the lemons would become my positive and that resulted in a great power loss good thing is that yeah this is this is good discoveries because these palm trees don't have a lot of water in them right but it still manages to pass all that voltage through it yeah anyway that should be and something else. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing. I hope you liked this video. This this part of the video was just me testing to see if different methods work, if the lemons produced more power and stuff like that. But other than that, for the conclusion, right, it's um, you would need a lot of trees just to power something. I, I don't know how many. Now, cutting these 10 pieces alone were very hard. So imagine cutting all those pieces just to get more power. Maybe a whole tree. I don't know if a whole tree would give you more power. Anyway, that's it for that. Thanks for watching. Please consider liking or subscribing. I hope to see you in another video. But let me tell you, 12 volts is a big improvement from last time. Last time I wasn't even producing much voltage and now... I'm producing big numbers, big numbers. That's, that's better than a, an improvement. Okay, see you later. Bye.